Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you another game from the Moonlight Pro League. Right now, the team of Barracks, Ruin, and HM does lead 3-2 to two over the Scan Motive Spire team. And they may go ahead and win this best of seven. We'll see about that because we have Barracks here in the bottom right. A Polypoid, certainly one of the strongest Terran players in the world. And probably considered the strongest player uh, in this particular showmatch series. Barracks is... Uh, incredibly strong. He's been making it into absolutely every ASL and even past the round of 24 occasionally. His opponent in the top left, though, is Motive, who is very, very strong right now, gaining a lot of respect within the scene and certainly has shown some inklings and brilliance. So we'll see what he's able to do. It is cross spawn. So you never know, man. Like we can we can see some uh, Nexus first going down, maybe getting himself a nice advantage like that. That would be probably the best case scenario here. Uh, but as far as Barracks goes, we don't really know what type of style he wants to use. He's pretty flexible overall. Uh, definitely one of our fastest players. <laughs> even though right now Motive, Motive must be holding down keys at 700 APM. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, but yeah, definitely looking forward to to seeing how this one plays out. And maybe we're going to be able to tie this up and bring it to a little game number seven. Uh, of course, here's a Winner's League match after either way. Uh, and then a Super Ace if it is all tied up there at the end. Now... <clears throat> One thing I want to mention before we get too far into this Nexus first cross spawn game uh, is that you guys should uh, you should subscribe. You should go ahead, hit that notification button as well, because, well, Artosis cast is back and I hope that you're enjoying it. Uh, I certainly enjoy doing it. Thank you for your patience as I have been trying to settle down in Canada in my new home. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. And of course, leave a little comment down there. Always like to see it. Uh, so, right now we have uh, Barracks scouting to the north, and it is Nexus first. Now, we're going to have to see if he end scouts, which is much more popular. I would say that end scout we see like 90% of the time in Terran versus Protoss, which means they do the letter N, right? So, if you're here, you scout north, and then you scout across the map, and then north, right? So, it's kind of like a letter N, and it can go in either direction. It doesn't really matter. You go like that, whatever. Right. Uh, and the reason for that is close spawns, you can bust Nexus first every time. Cross spawns, it's very questionable whether or not you're going to be able to kill off that Nexus first. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to see about that. He is going for that end scout. So what the end scout tells us is there's no punish at all available for hitting this top left base. Like, he would have to throw down his third depot about... You know, in the next few seconds here, he just doesn't have any intel. And if his opponent's doing, like, a regular, like, ranged expansion, he's just going to be far behind. So, uh, what we're going to expect here is just a command center coming up. Oh, wait! Wait, 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 wait. He made a third depot. So, that... That means he does have potential to attack. Now, as we can see, only one Zealot's being made. This is very, very greedy, what we see from Motive. Uh, which means that if we do see a Marine SCV Vulture pull, there is a possibility that Barracks can bust this Nexus. Of course, if you attempt this and it doesn't work, you die. Now, we have a Vulture, the Marine's coming, a lot of SCVs. Let's count how many. Okay, so he's sending eight. That's very, very standard second Vulture on the way as well. Marine still coming out, and this SCV gets pulled back. So this is very standard stuff we're seeing, but the thing is, it's very far to go cross-spawn. Uh, for a bus like this. We're going to see if that works out for him. Shield batteries, two of them going up. Of course, this pylon is the only one, uh, you know, powering those shield batteries, so that could be an issue later on, although it's not that common to power down uh, pylons. They have a lot of health in StarCraft 1. Kills off that first SCV, but that's okay. That SCV was not that important. That was a scout SCV. Now, here come the rest. Oh, God, he actually loses it. A bit of a mistake right there. The probes getting in on top of these Marines. This is a terrible moment right now, but he does micro well, pushes everything back. The actual SCV count going down a little bit. A good probe drill here, catching these vultures. Look at the dancing of that vulture. Oh my God, this is almost held already. Now, the bunker is up. Let's see if he can get his Marines into it. Some great targeting from those Dragoons. Double shield battery. I don't think this is going to end well. 
right now for barracks it looks to me like we're gonna have motive hold this pretty well oh my god he goes all the way down the ramp definitely a mistake there a little bit of a misclick now there's no mines or anything and in fact mines are gonna be a little ways off so it's just targeting down as many as you can get here as far as probes go the probe count has fallen to 12 which looks really bad but this is actually a very strong winning position for Protoss. Look, I know it's it's funny. It's 19 workers to like, it was 12, now it's 13. But right now we have goons that are about to have range and a second nexus. So we can make two workers at a time nonstop and nothing actually going on for barracks. So this is a position considered very losing for Terran. A lot of Terrans will literally just leave the game instantly in a spot like this. You see, he is trying to make something happen here for his team. But the Dragoons just kind of walk through everything. You don't have tanks. You don't really have mines yet because he made so many vultures. Like, he can lay some mines on top of his ramp. He can technically stay alive. But even taking his natural at this point will be very tough. We see that a starport is on the way. Oh, God. Yeah, you know what? He's not even going to stay alive at all. The Dragoons get up right before the mines get out. So, this is literally game. I think Barracks is just going to GG. That's it. Tied up. Going on to game seven.